from 19 to 23, you can meet a lot of temporary people. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jen. As you can tell, today we are talking about the app Tinder and leaving nothing untouched. So for a while now, there has been this app, Tinder. It's kind of like hot or not like that app they're advertising all the time on Vine. Where you put your information, picture, and age range, and all that stuff, and you can meet people to date and stuff. Yeah. I got Tindered because, I don't know, I was actually like super bored. I decided that, hmm, let's, let's make an account. Let's do it. You set up your picture and stuff, like I said. You put stuff that you want people to know about you. I don't know. Uh, you connect to your Facebook. That's how you make the account, which I think is pretty stupid because you can only use your Facebook pictures. Putting the age range. Now, this is where I kind of hate this because you can either put, you can put from one of your age to a certain age, but it doesn't, like it gives you this space. So for me, I put 19 because I'm turning 19 this year. So 19 seems good. 19 to maybe 20. That's the age range I want. But what they do is that they put 19 to 23 and you can't make it any smaller. That's something that I hate. I don't know. So on this app, what you do is you swipe right if you like them, swipe left if you don't, which I just did that. <laughs> Anyways. So with Tinder, you get to pick boys that you like, people that are you're more interested in uh, by reading your, their bios and seeing their pictures and stuff. You like them, swipe right. And if they swipe you right, then you get match. I match with like a lot of people. There's over a hundred people and it's just because I'm bored all the time and you know, just while you're in class, swipe, swipe, swipe. And so when you match with someone, I automatically just send a message, hey, Get it over with. I'm not waiting for you to message me. And so a lot, if I don't message them, I get a lot of weird messages. There are nice messages and there are weird messages. But I get more weird than I get normal messages, right? So I would get messages like, hey, you have huge tits. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, or I'll get sit on my face. Will you sit on my face? How about you come over and sit on my face? No. No. <laughs> like, honestly, how, what kind of first impression is that? That's like the most disgusting thing ever. 90% of boys on Tinder are literally looking just for sex. And it's fucking annoying. Because you're just, you're there maybe trying to find a nice guy and all you have are these douchebags messaging you these dirty things and first maybe some of them will lure you in they'll spark a good conversation add me on snapchat maybe give me your number that's cool but then you get the pictures they send you constant dick pics like over and over again every single day and it's like dude you sent me it the first time i've seen it it's burned in here because i've seen it i do not need to see it again and then there's that 10% of guys who are actually pretty friggin' awesome. Like, honestly, they read your bio, they talk about things that you're interested in, they tell you what they're interested in, we talk about things we have in common, and literature, movies, and school, and all that crap, but they live so far away. You see it from my perspective. I got a boy's perspective to explain the life, the works of Tinder for me. The reason that I get a whole bunch of douchebags is because most of my pictures on Tinder show a lot of cleavage. So I deleted some pictures with cleavage and hopefully we'll see what happens there. So what my friend said was that as long as people, as long as you put out there on your bio what you're actually looking for, then people are going to read that and be like, okay. And the people who will actually read it are the people that you want to be talking to. Overall, I'd give Tinder maybe a 5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below on your Tinder experiences or tweet me pictures of conversations that you've had with guys that are absolutely ridiculous. 
and I'll see you guys maybe next week. Sorry for posting a video so late. Miss you guys.